be here. We occupy. I occupy. I actually physically occupy. All right, we're back now. Thanks for being patient. Huh? Oh, I have to talk to the people. Uh, just, Sorry. I know I'm going to lose any which way I'm not occupying. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, David. Uh, um, so we need uh, support. We need support. I hate to censor amongst us. Yeah, yeah. Sad. Especially when you're living out here. Yes. But it's beyond that. Living out here for us. Let's say hate street. Boys and girls. All right. We're home. Yeah. That's treated as such. I spent yesterday cleaning out that bush. Got my boots muddy, wet. But I did it. <laughs> I have a It's about 32 years. <laughs> yeah. So please, please. This is beautiful. I love TA. We do it. We talk about all things we should do. Let's do something. Let's do something. Huh? Let's occupy. You? You? Live streaming? You? Let's occupy. Do something. I don't care what it is. Pick up something off the ground. A pin. Throw in a dollar. There's pins all over sign. here. Boxes. Make a do sign. Something. Make an electric car. Yeah, yeah, this is a duocracy, people. Talking ain't gonna get nothing yes. done. Who's next? Does anybody else want to speak about anything on a stack? Something, hopefully, creative, solution based? I think that was pretty cool. That was awesome, that's what I'm going well, on. I have a suggestion. Um, until we get a second phone or third phone, people with cell phones that have a video camera use that instead. As a That's solution. inconsequential. We don't have yeah, a, we don't have occupiers. I agree. I do, but it's inconsequential. Um, we don't have occupiers. So I got a direct response. Um, that would alleviate a lot of the problem. We have brothers like this guy. Uh, what's your Clark. name, brother? Clark. Clark, yeah. like this wonderful brother here who has his phone, who has him out. Why don't we work with the live stream, whoever they are, to no get his here phone? to get his phone and all the rest of our occupiers with phones on the live stream so that we're occupying in solidarity with one another. We all have certain resources which we can cont contribute. If we have the the gift that, that of, of a phone or of a camera, please use it. And, and if you know how to get on the live stream, please help our brothers to get on there. I mean, the technology's out there. Our sister here has a phone. Why is on live stream? Why isn't he? Who else has a phone? Why aren't you on live stream? I mean, the resources are here. Let's use them. Duocracy. Duocracy. I tried it. Let me set it up. Does anybody else want to speak on the stack? Because I'll say something real quick. I, I do. Um, it's inconsequential. We need to uh, be here. We need to do stuff. It's so, it's so important. Clark, you guys know, Nikki, you've been here, we need to be here, do shit, do shit, be here, who's occupying, you know who occupies, me and a couple other people, when, I'm, almost, I'm almost done, hold on, direct response, I'm almost done, I'm almost done, Nikki, I'm almost done, uh, we need to be here, someone needs to be here, we're, that's what we're here for, but I'm in James, right now. You guys, I love all you guys. You're like my family. But but when no one's here at night, when no one's occupying this, this, Stacy, everyone, there's a couple of us. God, I'm sleep deprived, tired as fuck. I'm living the dream. God, we need to do this. Direct response, I did for the first 10 days of preoccupation. I lost three sleeping bags due to... Uh, Police raids, seven crab nets, and fifty dollars worth of equipment, thirty dollars worth of bait, just because I was here. How okay? many? Now, what about I your got, body parts? Bro? All, I got, all I got, as far as help for those ten days and lost items, was a little blanket from Walgreens. So Amen. now I sleep in a tent in the woods because I can't sleep. Where's our solidarity, people? When people, when our are going through this, like, two thousand dollars like was just lost. Where's our love, we man? Funded People like yeah, me yeah. who would be here yeah, if I yeah. still had a fucking sleeping bag. Right, yeah, good yeah. Point. Good point. So who's and there's money uh, in the county and people like this or something that's been with Occupy from the rip. I'm so sorry. why don't we shut down the county? I'm sorry to get aggro. It's okay. Yeah, I was on a stack and I think you want to see. Buck, 
Go you have quite a process. Go go ahead. Ahead. With the next proposal, that's a proposal. What do we have a proposal on the table? I have a proposal. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's hear it. Actually, I put forth the proposal already. What proposal are we on? This is a new proposal. So wait, wait, wait. Is this the new proposal? This is a yeah. new proposal. So yeah. all the other proposals were already extinguished. Yeah. Any proposals that are consensible tonight are apparently I really actually tabled. put forth a proposal and it, it hasn't been discussed. If you put through a proposal, it's a new proposal. We is that asked correct? For that. Yeah. All right. Is it in writing, and do you have two co-sponsors? Actually, it is in writing. I have two co-sponsors. And 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 so you can bring that tonight. All right. And you can be on the stack asked. to bring that we as a new proposal like as well. But again, it cannot pass tonight unless it's a time critical. No, I don't want it to pass tonight. I oh, just want it. Then to you can consistent. you can introduce that as well. Yeah. So both of these proposals, yours and mine, can be introduced tonight. Neither one then can be passed tonight unless they're time critical. Well, mine right. is not. Yo, my check. My check. 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 Is check. this a new proposal? This is a new proposal. It's never been heard before? It has not been heard before. Okay, thank Let's you. Hear it. Would you mic check it or say it? Yes. Um, okay, so first of all, uh, just as a brief introduction before I read the proposal itself, uh, as I mentioned before in the meeting, the uh, strategy committee has been meeting. Uh, we have consensed upon some uh, policies and procedures and, and protocols, and people are welcome to take a look at this. Uh, I only have one copy with me right now, but I can discuss this with, with everyone as to how we do this. Um, and we have a meeting at 3 o'clock at the Rinkin Center on Thursday for anyone who wants to attend the meeting. Uh, and we can discuss all of this. Uh, it is an open meeting. And we will then probably have a meeting at 1 p.m. on Sunday at the Daily City uh, free store. Uh, what we are proposing to do is acquire Muni round trip tickets and other forms of gratitude to give to people uh, to express our appreciation. This is the proposal. Uh, the General Assembly approves the expenditure of $100 per week for the Gratitude Committee to acquire and distribute Muni round trip tickets. And that would be five per day, five days a week. Uh, or facilitate alternative rewards and benefits of non-monetary kind to those deserving of appreciation by Occupy SF for four weeks and that's so that we can come back and make sure that everything is running correctly and that everybody wants this to continue if we want it to continue to authorize and enable the gratitude committee to carry out its mission according to consensus upon procedures and protocols for accountability and transparency no 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 hey, i had Mark, a proposal gonna, yeah you'll bring it next uh, yeah but you were over yeah. there in conversation and mike happened to be here so Actually, you with this no first yeah, agreed. So, so, so that was the that was the proposal. Uh, what I would like to do is um, sort of answer answer questions. Obviously, tonight this is not going to be passed. We would be again discussing this on Thursday before the meeting, and on Thursday we will bring this back, hopefully for consensus at that time. Um, basically, though, just to kind of you know the general idea, we get Muni, which allows us to. Um, support public transportation. It allows us to support our occupiers, people who are doing things for the movement, and allow them to travel without the fear of, you know, fare inspectors. Um, it is something which decays when you buy a Muni round trip. It loses its usability after 90 days. So there's a strong incentive to move them into circulation, whether people take them and directly use them or take some separate, you know, form of uh, um, appreciation and gratitude. Uh, we will eventually, you know, make sure that these are, are used properly. Um, you want to hear concerns? Yeah. Uh, con concerns and questions okay. should be heard now, and then we will table it, presumably, yeah, so exactly. that we can bring it back. Cool. So we're not going to pass this tonight, but can we open up a stack of concerns and questions about this proposal and then other things? So who wants to speak about this proposal? Okay. One, who wants to speak about this proposal? Yeah. I don't see how you actually have a disbursement wait, wait, wait. from the Who's general fund that? unless you have a pro appropriate uh, accounting. Because how are you going to say that money is going to be used well if there is no accounting done for it? Okay, the answer. We are not um, worrying about finance accounting because we're not the finance committee. We have our own accounting system. 
for gratitude. And we are accounting our gratitude. And that's what our system does. Whenever we are given money, which is more than four dollars, we're going to acquire a muni or some other form of alternative gratitude and we're going to make sure that that gets to people that need that. And we will account that transparently. We will post that to our uh, to the website, to the to the internet, so people can see that and supervise that. And all of our meetings will be open, and people can participate. And we will definitely have our accounting system in order. Uh, we have a clarifying question. So, will we be running off the money given to Occupy SF, or money from your own separate account? All right. Um, let me let me let me explain a little bit about the the. the um, Procedures and protocols. Maybe I should. Maybe I should actually kind of read a little bit of this. It, it's written in a little bit of a, of a uh, uh, shorthand. But uh, so, assuming that this proposal is approved on Occupy Thursday, that OSF go. Finance uh, would each week give $100 uh, to our depository in the Gratitude Committee, as we designated, uh, which will uh, issue a yeah, receipt and publish to the registry online. Um, and then $20 would be allocated each day to the acquisition team. Uh, five days a week to acquire muni passes, um, and we'll issue a receipt to the depository and publish that to the registry online. Um, the acquisition team will acquire the muni round trip tickets and provide them to the distribution team. Um, again, can be designated individuals. Um, acquisition shall place each ticket in an expiration dated and serial marked sealed envelope, reporting and publishing that to the DC registry online. So at each stage, we're tracking. Um, then the um, we have appreciation certificates, which I can show you uh, examples of, which we can certainly modify. Uh, but these are sort of models, and we can use. You can show this to anybody else. We can use these to give to people that are engaging in actions or or activities which the uh, the General Assembly wants to support. Because we're going to ask the GA to really kind of tell us, and the committee will want to help provide these kinds of certificates and this kind of support to people that are doing things that Occupy SF wants to encourage, rather than me or you or certain individuals making that decision for ourselves. So we want to leave that up to the GA. Um, so we're going to be able to give to OSF deserving five uh, appreciation certificates and gratitude. Um, OSF deserving may choose to accept other form of gratitude than Muni. In this case, the distribution member must certify the alternate gratitude cost, the acquisition Team shall reacquire muni from the distribution at discount. Uh, when the gratitude cost is less than the discounted amount, the difference will be treated as a donation. So if somebody receives a gratitude certificate and says, all I wanted to thank you, well, that's actually a donation. So we can accept that and put that back in. Um, when it's less than the discounted amount, the difference will be treated as a donation, only the gratitude cost shall be supplied to the DC distribution. If donations permit and the gratitude cost exceeds the discounted amount, difference up to the discount amount shall be supplied, um, and the discount muni savings which accumulate sufficient value to acquire additional muni tickets shall be converted to free gratitude and distributed by the free store because they have a mechanism to give free things to people that need them. So we'll ask them to try to create a list of what they need and we'll facilitate them having that. So that's in Daly City? In Daly City. And they'll also want to come out here because yeah. they're occupiers as well. Okay. So that's, I hope everybody could hear that. Uh, but that's basically the procedures, and I think we—I think you know—we've got a pretty well-controlled accounting system of our own. Okay. No, actually, I heard this earlier. That was, uh, I was just—I was just curious. The, the one thing that, that uh, Mark had brought up a point. My concern is—is is we still don't have any money coming in. And I'm asking, I'm asking for a total of $400 Does over four else? weeks. Wait, I know. Does anyone else want to speak on that? I can put a direct response to that, that, yeah, yeah. that point. That, yes, we don't have money coming in. We're asking for a small amount of authorized money. Um, and we think that this will increase, increase people's um, sense of, 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 of uh, um, encouragement. And I think that when people feel encouraged, I think that they're 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 much more able to relate to the public and bring resources and, and more donations and so forth. Just just so you guys know, I have donated not only my time, which all you have as well. Mine is on a 24-hour consistent basis, regardless of whether I'm here or not. I'm always working either on the computer or on my cell phone. 
in communications or live stream needs. Additionally, I've spent, we'll just use hundreds because I don't think I've quite reached thousands of dollars, but I've spent hundreds of dollars supporting this movement myself, okay? And I am unemployed, paying child support. So if other people who are not able to get here that are possibly less fortunate than me, we have food donated, we have stuff donated, we want them to come down here. We don't want them to come and go. You know, and people that are coming and going, they obviously can afford to come and go. And if they can't afford to come and go, then I, I, I think there should be some sort of thing implemented, but I think it's a little excessive at $100. Buy the pass today? Huh? Buy the pass today, $20, $20 a day. That's still $20 for five people to get gratitude a day. Well, $20. let me see. I think the $20 a day could go towards food, but I'm not just, I don't want to even go back and forth about it. I just do that to do two. That's everywhere. Um, yeah, I mean, so I we're know. not trying to pass this tonight. Does anybody else want to speak on stack? And then we'll take a consensus check on Thursday about this. You want to speak on stack? Well, I like the first gratitude action that you did when you gave Richard Kreidler your um, ski lift pass that you could have kept for yourself. That was very nice, and that was a gift from the heart. So I really appreciate that you do that, and Richard is the one that feeds us, along with Robin. So I think it's really important to have something like this, because we need to reward the people that really nourish, literally, in a literal way, our movement. Yeah, I know, I know. And that's where you're living. Yes. That's my turn up. I think you are, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, well, I just had a thought. So every now and again, I get something I don't need comes my way. Like, I just got a free bag of roast coffee, and I can't drink it. And I'm sure this happens to other people as well. So these things could then be donated to this gratitude group and passed on to other people. And maybe we could take it not so much in the monetary realm, but just things that we have that aren't that useful to us that might be useful to other people, something like that. I'd like to respond directly again. Um, what Ethan brings up is a really excellent point. Um, as a gratitude committee, we are focused on non-monetary kinds of, of, of gratitude. We are not trying to gather a lot of money. Um, we do believe that people that have financial resources can donate those to the GA, but we don't really want to receive a lot of financial donations. If we receive them, we're going to obtain something non-monetary with it anyhow. Um, but if people can donate direct goods and services, whether that be just some coffee, whether that be, you know, uh, donation of time, whether that be whatever it is, we can give those to people as gratitude. and. That allows us to, you know, again, treat the difference as a donation, and so that is a donation, and it, it just allows us to have a little bit of fluidity. So we have no intention to come back to the GA to ask for an expansion of the funds. Our hope is that this small amount of $20 a day will be enough of a seed that everything else should be uh, donations that are coming in to keep that system flowing. We just kind of need to have the machine have the system running in, in order for people to put something into it. Um, um, <laughs> I want to speak on Stack uh, real quick just to ask if uh, when the next meeting for the Gratitude Committee is. Again, 3 o'clock on Thursday at Rankin Center and following that will be 1 p.m. at the uh, on Sunday at the Daly City Free Store. Okay, cool. So. Do we want to do a consensus check on Thursday, or does anybody else want to say anything? Well, we can't do a consensus today. I just had a little yeah. comment. I, mean, I think it makes total sense to be implementing yeah, solutions that don't involve that money. Yeah. Like in every fucking solution, no matter what proposals they are, I think money is really device, divisive in this whole process. And uh, I think it's awesome to have the Gratitude Committee, and uh, it's beautiful. So my question, though, then, to you is, do you have a, a problem, a concern, to us having the $20 a day to sort of start the machine, to start the wheels No, turning? unfortunately, it's a necessary evil, but as far as, like, implementing solutions right off the bat that involve money every time, I think. Well, that, that's like with these phone situations and everything, like, we, 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 I, I've been doing pretty well with my life without money for the last three months, so. And I've spent 30 years of my life being caught up in money, so. This is why we started out with a, uh, a mission statement. And, and cool. I can read this again, because I don't know if I read this tonight. 
Uh, our mission is to facilitate the acquisition and distribution of rewards and benefits of non-monetary kind to those deserving of appreciation, period. We don't want money. Money we will use to facilitate, but it's only a tool for that, and that's it. We don't want it. We don't want to have to deal with money awesome. other than that. Yeah, I guess it was a clarifying comment. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? You had mentioned earlier about Muni tickets. Yes. How can you get Muni tickets without money? That's what I'm saying. We're asking for money. We're asking for twenty dollars a day to buy Muni tickets. But you just said you don't want to deal with money. He's People can donate Muni tickets. Want to, but he will. Oh. We have, we have to facilitate the, the, the system operating in its starting phase, but once the system is, is, is sort of running, people can put direct donations of goods and services into the system. So whatever's available, they can make available to us, and then we can offer that instead of the muni. So again, it's alternate gratitude, and if somebody accepts that and it costs us nothing, we certify it costs us nothing, the four dollars just gets treated as a donation and goes right back into the system into free gratitude. Uh, Mark has another proposal to bring, yes. so we'll continue this on Thursday. We can table this if I mean, there's no question. It's, yes. it's automatically tabled. Right. I, I, know, I have no reason to know that. Do you want to bring your proposal? Um, my proposal was that uh, all funds are... Mic check. Mark's Speak louder. Sorry, our readers can hear. <laughs> Thank you, brother. With my insurance and everything like that, because I do this professionally, just so everybody knows, because I don't like doing proposals, I charge $200 per set, okay? Right. This is the creativity that Occupy has. We have creativity like this here. So if anybody is interested in wanting people to draw attention to me, please come and talk to me. I'd be more than happy to give you any art or skills that I know to help out or bring eyes to what you do, okay? There is always a way to get money and resources and finances. We're, we're surrounded by it. Surrounded. Yeah. Art and culture. Yeah. Thank you. I come here with a, he a really no. sad heart. My proposal no. is that no disbursements no. shall be made until proper accounting is shown and a full audit is made. I've lost faith in the financial uh, community. I've lost faith in everything. I've lost faith actually to a certain degree in Occupy because we're becoming what we're trying to fight. When I have an idea that the Bank of America and Wells Fargo has better accounting than us, I don't want to be part of this movement. And actually, I've tried to impose things at times, and nothing goes through. I don't know if there's embezzlement. I don't know what's happening. All I know is I have no faith in our community anymore. And I want to be part of a community I can have faith in. All right. Can we open up a stack to speak about this? Beth? Mike? Okay. Do you want to take your question? Um, yes, I have talked to this gentleman before the meeting and I said, Shale has been doing the accounting, so why don't you talk to Shale and see what's going on with it before bringing a proposal that's going to block all the different working groups for money for things like cards that show what the financial crimes are of the 1%. So, um, I, are we taking concern? This is a, a concern and definitely would be a block if this were a proposal that's being brought. Um, um, point of information. Actually, I tried to call Shales on four different times on three different days. So, if he refuses to actually give the books, and the only reason I brought this proposal is because he refused on multiple occasions to bring the books. 
unemployment process question. Who are your two co-sponsors? Wait, wait, that's not employment process. It is. Oh, it's process. Not. Employment process is about process. Process. There has to be two yeah. co-sponsors. Oh, for this proposal. For this proposal. Yeah. Oh, Procedurally, I'm sorry. there has to be there have to be three. There have to be two co-sponsors. These are people who are staying here, who are not getting any of the resources that Occupy has because we don't know where the resources of Occupy are going. These are people who are staying down on this place. They have no idea what's happening. Do you know what the books are? Do you know what the books are? Well, I don't have too much to say, just that um, I do agree we need good accounting. I don't know anything about how the accounting is now. However, our standards should not be do we have better accounting than the bank because that's what they do. They hire expensive accounting. They they are about accounting. That's like comparing our food to you know a, a poor class if French I restaurant. I cannot have better accounting than this. Direct response. I don't see how we possibly could. Mike, are you next on stage? Yeah. Tonight? Okay. Um. <laughs> look, we're not here to create a bureaucracy. We have a finance committee. Shale has always been very open to me. I'm sure he would be open to anyone who addresses him respectfully. I don't really know why you haven't been able to get in touch with him, but he's here frequently. And I've seen him. And I believe that he has the books. The fact that you haven't looked at those books does not mean those books don't exist. And it doesn't mean that those books are not open. Furthermore, to shut down the movement because you haven't seen the books doesn't make sense to me. And I would block that. I, I want to have a clarifying question. What I said is that nothing is shut down. Nothing should go forward without proper accounting. That's shut down. And if you have proper accounting, nothing is shut down. Okay. Word. Wait, 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 ask a question. Wait, wait. And I ask you a clarifying question. What do you define as proper accounting? Do we have to follow generally accepted accounting principles with double entry? And like, how far do you need to go to be appropriate? To meet the level of a, of a Wells Fargo or a Bank of America where they have to like report I to their shareholders? can actually make those levels. Right May now, there could be inappropriate. May I rephrase the question? What would be appropriate accounting? I want to see the books. Okay. Um, David, you're next on staff. No, Mike. Uh, no, Mike just Yeah, okay, David's next on staff. You want to show the book? And I and then Kyle. Okay. Why need I'm not surprised at Mark's proposal because I think we're facing a general political crisis here. And that's what's going on. Last Thursday we had a GA who shouted out of existence. When we moved it, the person who shouted it out of existence, I won't make the name, you know what I'm talking about, objected because it had not been consented on to move. This is crazy. This is a movement that's spiraling down. And the, the question of finances and accountability are valid and important but they pale next to the fact that we have lost our political direction and we're kind of floundering around. We have proposals, we have people striding out, we have shouting matches, we have people who feel that they're totally disrespected. That's what we have to come to terms with. That we're facing such challenges, given the crisis of our oppression and suppression by the state, is not surprising. But if we allow the selective arrest of the people who are camping here to crash our movement, we have given them exactly what they yeah, want. They're not building. They want to crash our movement. Of course they are coming down on the people who are here more than the rest of us because we're not exposed. The people who are here are rightly pissed off that they don't have the support. But that's not a license to have a temper tantrum when you're not getting your way. A temper tantrum in GA crashes our movement. People who have the power, or assert that they have the power, to define who is part of the movement and who is not, are crashing our movement. Our movement is about inclusion if you want to be included. It's not about, well, I'm the real Occupy because I do this, that, and the other thing, and what do you do? 
if you show up and if you identify with the 99%, I think at this point that suffices. Now that's not to say in the future we're not going to find some times when we go separate ways. You know, um, I support Goldilocks is for the big bear. And that may be at some future point a separation of the ways. But I don't think we're there yet. But I think we need to come to terms with our political crisis. Are we here together for this movement? Are we going to get off on temper stamps and shout, shouting each other out and striding away? Or can we maintain a, a certain level, dare I say, of maturity and mutual respect that we started out with? And there's no reason why we can't still have it without all this suspicion. The suspicions are put here by the police. The suspicions are put here by the ruling elite. They want us to have those. They are very clever about how to insinuate those. Remember the peeing on the food thing? It just smacked to me of something that the police provocateurs fomented. I doubt if, I don't know, I never smelled the food. But I would not be surprised if that was simply a rumor planted to drive us apart. Let's not let it happen. Let's not give the police that power. Um, voice of reason. Uh, Brian, then Kyle, then me. So, uh, I have a question for the group, which is, does anybody see a reason why all of the financial transactions shouldn't be posted publicly on the website, possibly on this new forum that Richard and Sarah are working on? No. What's this new forum? I, I don't know yet. I think Richard and Sarah are just working on a, a, play, a website where all information about occupied people can't post up. Um, like anyone's welcome to post, and I'm just asking if there's any reason why our books shouldn't be typed up and published on that website. Uh, yeah. Clarifying question. My concern comes from the fact that I was the accountant at one time. There was a time about four months ago where I tried to shut down financial committee and I was successful. I posted a lot of records. And I looked the other way in order to have a way to move forward. I talked to people who were there. I don't like what I did, but I believed that I was trying to help to save the movement, to look the other way for things that I actually objected against. And I looked the other way in order to publish records and procedures so they would never happen again. Part of my, my involvement with the financial committee back in the day was that I was willing to look the other way at things that I actually really didn't approve of on, 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 on the word that it would never happen again. And hey, I want to clarify a question. It's not right that I look the other way. This isn't a clarifying question. And, and this is going on again. Okay. Um, Kyle is next on stage. Yeah. I, 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 after what uh, David was saying, you know, the first question that I raised my hand for was, you know, where is all this going as far as the solution for this issue we have right now? But then you kind of answered to me, it, it's kind of a crisis of political things. The solutions we're looking based around money and, and these other directions, but I think the real solution is dealing with the real issue, which is goes beyond any of these interpersonal things or monetary things. It's more about we're just fucking, you know, it's a little deeper than that. So it goes back to the first question. I mean, does anybody have any solutions right now for us? What, I, what, what, beyond beyond you're beyond you, I guess. Okay. Anyone else? You're next on stack. Okay. Um, so, I joined this movement without caring about money because I don't need it to live. Um, when I come down here, I occupy. When I leave, I still don't have any money and I occupy somewhere else. When I come back, I occupy again. I went at once my main priority because that's where I occupy San Francisco is. The money problem is not a problem to me. The money is money that I don't need. Phones are something that people would love to have, but I don't need them because I get badge numbers, I write them down, 
I take down meticulous notes. I attended the legal trainings when they had them at National Lawyers Guild and other events for the Occupy events and other direct actions. Um, but the accounting problems that we had, we destroyed some of the people that, or destroyed the positions that held that power to manipulate that, so that was dealt with. I believe that's nothing now. Um, money doesn't mean as much as people. So people are down here together and we're holding a space and we love to be supported. <coughs> but we don't need money to support each other. We, we're here together. All right. The question was putting our all our shit on the uh, on the website so people can look at them. Yeah. All right. I'm going to answer to that, and it has to do with finding solutions that aren't just about money, but about guidelines, period. The occupation as it now stands, I myself am heavily involved in that. I hope no one finds that too passionate or prejudiced or whatever, or biased. But I've been working with Rob, Bell, Pirate Mike, James, and a bunch of other people who've been down here very meticulously on guidelines that have to do with more than just money, more than just interpersonal shit. It deals with that too. It deals with everything we've been seeing that needs to get dealt with, actually, in a forward-thinking, orderly process. As soon as we have those guidelines fully realized, passed and everything, and communicated to GA, then we are, yes, ready to put that all on. Because people should know what the hell's going on. I want people to realize that when they give something to this, even if it's as passive and insincere, possibly, as just throwing money at it, they can still come back and check it. And maybe that could be a hook for them to come back and want to participate more. It's like, holy shit, these people let me know what my, what happened with my money. That's a four, That's the line of thinking. We're going with that on why we put it on there. So, like two days, three days, man. Two days, three days. Was anyone else on the stack or I was. But I was just going to say something similar, which is, as far as a solution, it may not be a total solution. Sorry about but that, guys. I'm always in favor of transparency. <laughs> Almost always in favor of transparency. And I think that putting the books on the website would show ourselves, each other, and the general public that we're on the up and up. We have nothing to hide. If you do see something improper, don't let it slide. Tell it people. And keep everything you know just let everyone know what's going on make it easy if no one else wants to speak on stack um thank you would you bring that if it's ready thursday thursday oh, yeah yeah and um can we discontinue ga until thursday when we have these guidelines someone's working on writing up guidelines and if anybody else wants to participate in that maybe they can work with you and then we'll bring this back on thursday maybe we'll have those guidelines ready we can see if we can send to them as a group we still have to talk nice. about Be before we close um, ga we still need that live stream phone issue resolved you want to go back to that Does i'd like to okay um i'll continue to do this if people want does anybody else want to try to facilitate the discussion about the live stream camera Live stream. Have a question. You have a question. Question. How many people are needed for proposals to pass? Is there a I don't think we ever one? came to a quorum. There's 20. There's a quorum. There's a quorum. We have a quorum. Okay. No, Jane brought it one night. Yeah. We so have a quorum. There was something about finance not wanting. I was there. That's what I remember. Maybe I'm wrong. I think that's beautiful though. A quorum of 20. Yeah. That we have a quorum period. Just make yeah. any decisions yeah. unless there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Uh, right. Raul, you want to join in? Yo, we have a GA. Mike, we check. Need to we have a general assembly. We have a general assembly. Of 17 people. Of 17 people. Of 17 people. We need at least 20 people. We need at least 20 people. To pass a proposal. To pass a proposal. There's a proposal on the table. There's a proposal on the table. About a live stream camera. About a live stream camera. Um. Should we open up a stack about this this proposal? What? What about dissension in the ranks? 
way that we break Does anyone want to present the proposal? Can someone present the proposal? What is it? To the whole group. Uh, James, the old one, or... You just came. Jake, he's right there. <laughs> he's right there. Jim, do you want to bring a modified proposal? For the amendment that we had about getting oh. two phones. Sarah, do you have a modified proposal about I'm getting two phones? I'm gonna block it. Two gyms. James with. Oh, I can. I can amazing. make a. I can make a modified proposal. Thank you. Um, I guess I better get the paper out because I'm gonna have to have it in writing. <laughs> uh, no. James, can you work with Jim? He did ask for it though. It's my own debate. Uh, <laughs> Table it Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a better idea to table it Thursday. We just table it till Thursday since there's no real need to have a camera on site that everybody's been asking for for the last three weeks. That's fine with me. Wait, wait, wait. No problem. I can be here 24 hours a day. Do you have a proposal to get a camera ASAP? Jim, would you like to come over here? Okay, let's go. Like okay. okay. That's probably that's, that's asking for the proposal. Would you read the proposal? Yeah, write the proposal. And we'll do it, yeah. Um, James is working here. Uh, did you want to finish the proposal for a camera? Phone? Yeah. Well, he, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, we he, do. he wanted to work with you on that as part of the team. Oh, man, it's a pretty simple proposal that there be a okay. camera on site. So... The proposal is to add a third phone to the Sprint account that is in my name for a live streaming device to be here on site in the custody of Scud and Chris. Wherever Chris went. Scud? Yep. Is that correct? Yes. You concur? Yes. Okay. So, add one. <coughs> Um, does anybody have any other phone suggestions for that? Great. I'm okay. wondering what the breakdown is in actuality, how that works, like if Scott and Chris need to leave. Let's vote. Okay. So, we're going to table it for now. Is there a list of, like, we have to have acceptable for Wait, we're going to vote? No, it's a Okay, cool. Mic check! Mic check! Mic check! Mic check! The proposal wants to add so Everybody over here, if you possibly can, please! Come over to the GA. Come over to the GA just for a short time. Yeah, I can do that off the top of my head because I've done it so many times. Okay, so, Jader. Let me finish writing this. He's writing his proposal. So, all right, we're going to hear a proposal about getting another live stream camera. Would you read that when you're ready? Yes. Um, we're a little short break here as he's writing the proposal. Okay. Um, to add one cell phone to the Sprint account that is currently in my name for an additional streaming phone to remain on site in the custody of a live stream occupier, occupant. Can we see consensus for this proposal? Um, does anybody stand aside? Stand, if you stand aside, if you could do this symbol. We have a stand aside. Okay. Raul, do you want to say why? Or do you want to speak real quick about why you're standing aside? Um, I would like to hear the actual policy. Like, like I'm thinking it's going to just gut and Chris and then they put it out to whoever. And, as you know, no. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Just want to speak? Okay. Are there any blocks to this proposal? If you're blocked, you just have to tell us why, so we can work towards a solution. Are there any blocks for this proposal? If you want to block, you can give a thumbs down. Are there any blocks that I'm not seeing? Are you really blocking this proposal? It's passed. It's passed. Consensus. Right, they weren't even part of the discussion. It's passed. Yeah, I couldn't hear him. Jim, are you participating in this GA? Yeah. Because I don't think you're close enough. He's upset because he's not I know, but we're going to work towards that. Well, whoever's texting me, uh, keep
keep in mind I can't see that. Alright, can we, just, can we try that again? Uh, if you want to add to the stack, uh, please chat. Okay. Okay. Mike check! Mike check! Mike check. Are there any blocks within the circle of people participating in this GA against getting this? There are no blocks. Okay. Please speak up. Alright, word. We have consensus to yeah. get involved. Yay. I will do that tomorrow. Thank you. you. And yes. you'll see it on Thursday, a physical phone. Yes, you will see Beautiful. another an additional streaming phone here on site. It'll cool. Always be cool. Inside, that Does that mean, all right, I'm gonna step down as a facilitator. What about the May Day I fact? think it'd be beautiful if people want to keep talking. I'm probably actually gonna go soon, which I really hate to yeah. say. I wish I was sleeping here tonight. Um, I have to go clean a space that I messed up. More information than we need. Somewhere else. <laughs> uh, does anybody want to continue this in whatever fashion okay. discussion? Well, this streamer is gonna <coughs> shut it down. Wow. Shut it down. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Pardon me. Sorry, sorry, it's okay. I just want to back out. I think they're going to continue the discussion. But I have been here on site for a few hours, so I'm getting a little tired. But I'd like to thank everybody for uh, tuning in. And you, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Freeman, F-R-E-E-M-A-N, Sullivan, S-U-L-L-I-B-A-N. And... Uh, You'll receive a wide assortment of tweets, and I'm going to make an effort to come down here to do some more streaming of the Occupy in the future. So, uh, everybody have a good night, and uh, this is Clark Sullivan, signing off.